How's it going, VC? Back here again and uh, for another video. And uh, this is a what spinning video for um, uh, August. We're in September now. Wow, 2016's going by quick, isn't it? Anyway, sorry about the mess back there, guys. Well, there's a usually a mess, but you know, I was just cleaning my room, but I figured well, I got some time right now to make a video. Why not? And uh, this is stuff I've been listening to last month. Anyways, right now in the background, I'm uh, it's playing something I picked up a long time ago, but I never listened to, and that's uh, X with Hey Zeus. They're a punk band. I have their debut album called Los Angeles, and uh, it's a great album, dude. Punk classic. This one, it's a way different sounding one. It's got kind of an alternative vibe, whereas the other one just had like a straight up punk vibe. But this one is still really good too, you know? So far that I've been listening to it, I've been cleaning my room right now, and uh, right now that I've been listening to it, it's really good. A very different sounding from their first album, but you know, it's still very good. And uh, now we're going to go to the stuff I've been listening to. I'll start off with the tapes first. And here we got uh, most of this stuff I've been listening to in my mom's car. She still has a tape player, cassette player. Oh, yeah. It still has a cassette port, whatever you want to call it in there, so it's pretty cool. Uh, that's one of the reasons I like driving my mom's car. It's a 98 Expedition. Really good car. Love it. Anyways, I'm, um, here we got Hole with Live Through This. I've shown this before. Great stuff. It's grunge, but it's like very like punky, almost hardcore punk, I'd say. I don't know about hardcore punk, but it is punk. I, I can tell you that much right there. Um, so we got some more grunge with Mud Honey. Every good boy uh, deserves fudge. Yeah. I've shown this before too. The Sub Pop label. Really good album. It's also very punk oriented. That's where most grunge bands. And uh, here we got some metal right here. Motley Crue with Girls, Girls, Girls. It's my favorite crew album. Um, uh, yeah, I love the crew. They're, they probably are my favorite band, honestly. And uh, this is my favorite album by them. It's uh, It's got everything that all the albums before it had and more. Alright, this album had the like rawness of uh, their debut. And... Uh, then it had the heaviness of Shout at the Devil. Then it had the poppiness of, uh, is that even a word, poppiness? I don't think so, but yeah, it had the pop, the pop influences of uh, Theater of Pain. And um, uh, at the same time, it's just got a sound of its own, and I love this album. And uh, then uh, Dr. Feelgood, it was a great album too, but it was kind of just like a, almost in my opinion, took this album to another level, but I personally just enjoyed this one a lot more. Uh, girls, 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 great album by by Motley Crue, dude. Check them out. If you haven't, which I doubt if you haven't even heard of them, they're probably one of the biggest bands to ever live. Anyway, next up we got some more grunge. Um, Alice in Chains with Dirt, great album from the 90s. Love this tape. Really good album, you know, been listening to it in the car pretty, for a pretty long time, yeah, it's really good, here we got it, Mike Starr, Jerry Cantrell, Lane Staley, and Sean Kinney, anyways, yeah, Dirt, it's a really good album, great album, actually, probably one of the best, a decade-defining, defining album, in my opinion, decade-defining album, really good album, that's all I have to say about that one. Next up, we got another great um, uh, band, Faster Pussycat. I'm at, I actually might go see Faster Pussycat later this year. I saw the ticket prices; they were pretty reasonable. So yeah, definitely might go see Faster Pussycat it, later this year in December. So yeah, really good album. It, it sounds. It's, I have their debut album. Their debut album was great. I, I actually like the debut more, but this one still is really good. They, they kind of went for like a almost bluesy type of sound for this album, but still a very good album. Now, I'm going to show one CD. 
Now, I probably have listened to more stuff than just this this month, but this is just all the stuff I remember playing, yeah, or kept track that I played. Anyways, uh, here we got some pop from the early 2000s, late 90s. Alanis Morissette with So Called Chaos. Really like this album. Uh, some great songs you should check out here are, um, uh, Everything. So Called Chaos was really good. Knees of My Bees, that was one of my favorite songs. 8 Easy Steps, really good song. Pretty heavy. 80, the song 8 Easy Steps is a bit heavier than I expected out of Alanis Morissette, but still, really good album. Definitely check her out, guys. I mean, even if you're not necessarily into like stuff like that, I can guarantee you she might get you into that stuff. Here we got something that's folk rocky. Here we got Arlo Guthrie with Alice's Restaurant. Is that how you pronounce it? Guthrie? I don't know. But it's a classic. This album's in pretty bad shape. Pretty beaten up. But the album still plays really good, guys. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty messed up. It's not supposed to do that. I found it at the thrift store for 79 cents one time. I was like, oh my god, I have to have this one. But it's a really good album, guys. Check it out. Here we have probably one of the first records I ever owned, and it's Heart with Dreamboat Annie. I gave this one a spin a while ago. I'm definitely going to get a new copy, though. Side 2 has always been scratched to hell on this. And I've never actually been able to enjoy Side 2, honestly. So, yeah. Dreamboat Annie. Classic. This album is going to turn 40 this year. 40. Can you imagine that? It's crazy. A lot of al the great albums are turning 40 or 30 this year, which is pretty cool. Anyways, here we got something else. Joan Jett and the Black Hearts with album. I guess it could be considered a self-titled album. Anyways, it's a really great album. Love from you some Joan Jett and the Black Hearts every once in a while. And, uh, yeah. Gotta love Joan Jett, guys. Anyways, um, uh, that's pretty much it for this video right here. If, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, don't give it a thumbs up, I guess. If you like my channel, subscribe, and, uh, leave a comment. I always read the comments, and I usually reply, too, so feel free to leave a comment, and, uh, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.